Hey y'all, <laughs> reporting live from the headboard. <laughs> you wanna know why? Because it's tourist season. Tourist season is all about indulging in our most uh, pleasurable pastimes and pamperings. And for me, that is sleep. Oh, my favorite. It's the fucking beast one. However, I do got a few things to say to y'all. Um, so, just. Just give me a moment. I'm, I'm gonna get up. Now what you, you say? Know you look good. Now what you, you say? Know you now what you, you say? Know you now what you, you know say? You, you original. You not a cop. What's up? Is everybody doing? Welcome to Taurus season. Taurus is ruled by. Let me turn this down. Taurus is ruled by the planet of Venus, which is about love and pleasures and things of that sort. Hence the uh, Sims game music in the back. <laughs> that was the video game I played when I um, was manifesting all the good life and luxury that I always wanted to indulge in. So, Also, I'm still on my hiatus. Everything will be up and going. Uh, I mean, slowly being loaded during the month of May. So just be on the lookout. Um, so... Taurus season, Taurus season, wow. Taurus season is a very peculiar one. It's like we've gone from Aries season um, very quickly and just launched into this uh, very grounding energy of business, finances, getting your shit together, so on and so forth. So, with Taurus being the ruler of Venus, of things beautiful and pleasurable and things of that nature, I'm doing what I love in this particular hiatus, which is grounding myself. Incense is one of my grounding techniques, anything earthy. You know, my Palo Santo, my wood, my stones, things like that. And indulging in the things that I like, spoiling and pampering myself for the time being until it's time for me to launch back and get back to work, which is pretty soon here. Um, thing about Taurus energy is that that is about getting down to business. Previously in Aries season, we were able to get initiated, get started, maybe do a little bit of partying. Some of y'all probably got y'all's in and got yours. <laughs> you interpret that how you want to, but um, sorry, bitch, the party is over. It's time to get back to work, and that's what Taurus season is about. So, hence, here we are. I do have a new deck now that is allowing me to be able to even do reads for myself and to really divulge and impress upon the information that you guys will need going forward into this season. So let's get to it, shall we? Welcome to my new deck, The Secrets of Tarot. Secrets of Tarot has been a very helpful deck to me is that it's been able to help me to connect with uh, my ancestors and powers on a great level and able to indulge and divulge information to you guys about what this astrological year looks for you so first things first we're going to go ahead and get started with the moon deck which is all about the emotional growth and phases that uh, we go through as far as evolving to our highest enlightenment and our highest selves hold your vision can y'all see that that's definitely some Taurus energy right there it's definitely screaming some Taurus energy hold your vision fixed moon which i'm not surprised because we are about to come up on a fixed moon and we're in a, a fixed modality of energy right now between taurus being a fixed sign and it's complementary across itself scorpio um with fixed energies uh, it means that uh, you're going to be very focused and very attached to the tasks that you're completing a lot of us do have a lot of stuff to see to to completion and we're going to need a lot of focus and time to really zero in on those opportunities to really get to the finish line and the goal here so i feel compelled to pull this particular card too as well confidence is your key to success oh new moon in leo but that's crazy because leo is also a fixed sign it appears here that there's a lot of fixed energy um going on as far as the tour season that is like the bull asking you to hold your ground and so whether this be in what's ruled by Taurus, finances, um, foundations, and boundaries, and things of that nature, these are what these cards are essentially compelling you to stay focused on. Because 
Remember, we do have our full moon, but let's remember when the sun is in a one sign, the moon is going to be in its opposite. In this case, sun is in Taurus right now. Our next full moon will be in Scorpio. So we're going to have a lot of transformations and letting go of releasing of a few things as well. Um, the Leo energy is just asking us for the confidence to pursue those particular objectives. And that's pretty much all I have for that one. Just whatever you guys got going on in your lives, hold the vision and have the courage to pursue it. All right? So I'm going to leave that there for you guys. Let's see what the cards have to say about the next objectives. That need to be, for some odd reason, this one popped out. I haven't shuffled it, but then when you turn this around, ah, oh, Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups, what does it say? Woman over 25 years, blue eyes, pale brown hair, soft, gentle, and motherly. This almost reminds me of the Empress card in the tarot deck, which is ruled by Venus, Taurus energy as well. Uh, she's also very grounded. You know, she's on her throne. She's not going anywhere. She has pretty much set, you know, her foot down and has set in her ways to say, hey, look, this is... This is what's going on. I'm not changing my mind about it. This is what it is. This, you know, there's nothing you can do about it. But Taurus energy is basically trying to say to a few of you is that there is a lot of self care that needs to be put in place. Some of you have been burnt the hell out, or you've been overextending yourself, or you've been trying to take breaks. I'm not. I'm pretty sure this kind of talks about me here. I don't know why. That's so funny. I see myself in this, but. I see this in a lot of people. We're just we're just running all over the place with our heads, like chickens with our heads cut off, and we're just not getting back to the core, forefront focus of the goals and things that we really need that recharge ourselves. And this also deals with your feelings as well, because cups deal with emotions, feelings, and um, your intuition as well. Uh, it's very funny how people feel that logic is the most um, favorite thing, but it really isn't. Um, Rationality can also come from the emotional realm, too. It's just uh, irrational interactions that are a problem. Mo emotions never are. Uh, so with that being said, uh, this energy is basically saying ground your emotions, ground um, the things that people are trying to tell you or lead you to. Because again, going back to that moon, hold your vision. You're going to get a lot of conflicting messages about the situation that you're in or what you're trying to achieve, whether it's business, monies financial matters, foundations, whatever have you, but as long as um, your goals, you know your goals are um, approved by your higher power, then you need to stand your ground with people, because they are always going to try to dissuade you into a place where they're comfortable, and that's not suitable for you. So, let's see here. of you guys oh man you've been involved in some serious conflicts lately um arguments battles around you um you'll get past them uh the best thing that you do is to do here is that i don't want to say simply do nothing but you might have to wait for this particular one to pass because you have shit to do my friend <laughs> so be very advised of that and i want to leave you guys with a spirit animal Hmm. I guess I could have shuffled these up a bit. Unless, hold on. If that was for you, that was for you. You just let me know. I just, I thought I shuffled these up before I went ahead into this reading here. Let me just, let me leave you guys with a good tidbit here to kind of, the deer. Agility, alertness, swiftness, stillness, gentleness, guile, innocence, grace, unconditional love. Benevolence, mistrust, so be on your P's and Q's like the deer. <laughs> uh, again, you need to hold your vision. Don't let anybody budge you into, you know, out of your vision or uh, the plans that you've already set for yourself. And make sure you see these objectives all the way through. Uh, and that's pretty much all I have for Taurus season there. Um, even for me, I am still trying to uh, get this channel revamped and put into a streamlined uh, process so that um, I deliver fluently so that the information gets across um, in the way that it should so that the channel is flourishing. That's also what Taurus season embodies is about abundance and I encourage you guys to really lean in on these energies and start building those foundations. So if you have any additional questions feel free to reach out to me again 
everything will be up and going going into the main month but until then i will be indulging taking care of myself and just enjoying my time and i encourage you to do the same take care everyone see ya Thank you.